And that is the, uh, our papers. Uh, my title is the uh, Et Einstein Tangents Beyond. Um, this is joint work with the uh, Professor the Sekigawa and the Professor Chai and Pro Dr. Jun. And okay, where is the Matthew Manifold, um, the Professor Kim and the Professor Cho already gave the definition, so I uh, skipped the definition, then I just said what is the Et Einstein uh, Manifold. The M bar is the Eta, the metric, um, one on tensor, and characteristic vector field psi is contact. Metric manifold. Contact manifold. If the uh, rich tensor, rich tensor is the alpha G bar plus beta, the tensor product eta, then we called this is the eta Einstein manifold. If the beta is zero, if the beta, beta is zero and the alpha is constant, you see this manifold is the Einstein. The, this rich tensor, rich tensor, rich operator is de defined by, um, rich operator is defined by as the rich tensor of the x, y. I put the bar on the, the total space and I put the without bar is the base, base spaces. So you see, the, if the manifold is Einstein, the eigen, eigenvariable rich operator, eigenvariable rich operator is just a single eigenvariable. But the, if the uh, rich operator of the eigenvalue, eigenvalue of rich operator is the uh, just uh, two eigenvalues. Multiplicity has the dimension m minus one to one. So you are looking at the eta Einstein, eta Einstein, then this is important to find the, um, some I in the physics, so we see that there are some examples. Professor Dano proved on any unit tangent sphere bundle on the sphere is E times the metric where the rich tensor is given by this. And uh, deformation of the, we call this the dehomothetic deformation, then you can get a unit tangent sphere bundle, get a Einstein. So, the, so you see the deformation of Sasaki and Einstein matrix is unit sphere, there is the Sasaki matrix, Sasaki is this is the Sasaki manifold. And deformation of Sasaki and Einstein matrix naturally read the Einstein Y structures. This is important in general relativity theorem, relativity theory. Uh, at time, the study of Et Einstein is mainly studied the Sasaki manifold because in a Sasaki manifold, this alpha and beta is, can be constant. This here, the alpha and beta is the smooth function. Smooth function, smooth functions on T1 variable. 
we are talking about here m power two. When we started uh, Sasakian manifold, because since alpha and beta is the constant in the Sasakian manifold. But uh, this unit tangent sphere bundle, I'm want to work on the unit tangent sphere bundle. This is the typical example of a contact uh, manifold. This is not a Sasakian, of course. So we are working on the when the when the unit tangent sphere bundle is the Einstein. Is the eta Einstein? When is the the base manifold? Want to determine the if the unit tangent sphere boundary is eta Einstein? When is what is the base manifold? Want to determine the what is the m? So this is the uh, our theorems are the answer is that if the unit tangent sphere boundary with a standard contact metric structure will give them shortly later what the uh, standard contact metric structure. If, if we think about the unit tangent sphere bond with the contact standard contact metric structure, then it should be it should be the space form. C is just one, either one or n minus one, and it's the dimension of the manifold. So I was very surprised to get this, and I was very happy to get have this. So, ah yes, I'm sorry, M minus two. So the, our background is this. Unit tangent sphere boundary is locally symmetric. Then the prayer show that prayer show that the base manifold should be flat or sphere. Also, Breuer show that this is a conformally flat. Then, base manifold is the um, two-dimensional plane, two-plane or sphere. Main motivation of the, this result was that unit tangent sphere under is Einstein. Einstein, this is prayer. This is the box Wernicke. It's published in Czech Republic, Czech mass paper. Then, it's the base manifold is the two plane, either two plane or two sphere of the radius one. What's surprising is that it's a very limited geometry if the tangent, unit tangent sphere boundary is the Einstein. Base manifold is the two flat, either two flat or sphere. So, unit tangent sphere boundary is Einstein, so the geometry is too limited. So, I want to generalize the, this when the unit tangent sphere boundary is eta Einstein. You see, the, this is a zero, then this is constant, is it Einstein, but I want to generalize the, in the context text. So, when in this talk, I would like to prove the, how to prove this. How to prove this. I want to give us a main idea on how how to going on about this. The beginning, in a tangent bundle, to set our theorems, the Professor Chai and the Dr. Jung and the Professor Gigawa and myself, the 2008 
I'm gonna shift that. This is the, if this is the uh, E times time, it is standard contact metric structure. Then, um, alpha and beta is constant to build on T1M and reach scalar coverage, no, coverage tensor, normal norm coverage tensor and norm of the rich tensor of the base manifold and norm of the scalar curvature and the scalar curvature of the unit tangent bundle as all constant. This is not Sasaki manifold, the, but in a unit tangent bundle, the alpha and beta was the constant. This was the main key tool we used. If the alpha and beta is constant, see, you can see from this, then the scalar curvature is the, uh, our manifold is the, if the, our manifold is the dimension n, then T1m should be dimension of T1m is the 2m minus 1. So this one becomes 2m minus 1 alpha plus beta. So from the this theorem, the alpha and beta is constant. It's the immediate to get scalar curvature of unit tangent bundle is constant. Then Boxen Venet started unit tangent bundle with scalar curvature constant. They get some uh, nice results. They can use the that one too. Also, if you look at this one, the which operator of the characteristic vector field is the so characteristic vector field the psi is the eigenvector of the eigenvector of the rich operator. We called in this time the contact manifold is H contact. So so want to prove that our main material when we need some um, basic things. First beginning. Okay. Tangent bundle to M. The so tangent bundle is the is the hypersurface of the unit tangent bundle considers the hypersurface of the 2M. We think the isometric the immersion. We think the TM as the Sasaki metric. Sasaki metric, I called you, tell, tell you about this a bit. Okay, so see, corner of phi star is the vertical distribution. Then we have a connection of this. Then we can split. Then we, with this, we um, put the, put the denoted like this way, the B, vertical lift. And H is the uh, spanned by XH. Okay. Then the, the Sasaki metric is the, the vertical lift is the just Riemannian metric on M, also horizontal lift, also the Riemannian metric of the base space is the zero. So it called this metric as a Sasaki metric. Sasaki metric. We reduced uh, on the this metric to the unit tangent bundle. Then um, you want to uh, construct the um, 
standard contact metric structure using the, the J on the TM. To how to define the J on most complex structure J on TM. <coughs> define the almost complex structure J on TM is um, horizontal part goes to vertical part and vertical part goes to horizontal part. Then this gives you J square minus identity. Then the TM and Sasaki battery and the almost complex J gives the almost homogeneous structures. Actually, it gives the almost scalar structure. The Komura show that the unit tangent, uh, tangent bundle with scalar manifold, the base manifold is the, the plot. Now, you can uh, how to make the uh, standard contact metric structure on T1M. The, using the, this uh, J and the induced metric, then you can get uh, the almost complex the, um, standard contact, contact metric structure. So uh, the vertical lift, OK, so now T1M. Tm is the spanned by x h x and v. By the way, the uh, horizontal lift stands for the uh, tangent to the unit tangent sphere bundle, but vertical lift is not a tangent to the unit tangent sphere bundle. Has to subtract subtract the normal part. So uh, we define the tangential lift. Tangential lift the subtracted normal part. Normal part is the B. Then unit tangent to the unit sphere bundle is spanned by XT, tangential lift and horizontal lift. Now, to give the induced metric, induced metric about the G prime, we call that this is G prime. Mm -hmm. Then G prime is the just this one is exactly the same. But this goes over the this. You can get minus pi. And also, so zero. Using the this induced metric and the um, almost complex structure J, I uh, want to make the standard contact structure on the unit tangent bundle. So on T1M, this metric equal just the act to the unit J, then you make the Characteristic vector field xi prime n phi prime and j n minus the prime n is the u v. Then, if you give the 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 this structure, then it is not a contact metric structure. We we'll compute this for then it becomes twice. So it has to be rescaled to the make a contact metric structure. It has to be the this is should be one. So rescaled about the one over two and two times psi prime, then pi prime, then um, metric 
comes scared. This. This the standard contact metric structure. This psi, eta, shiva, mm. pi, called the standard contact metric structure. Okay. Uh, then using the this, uh, we compute the, some rich tensor, and uh, then we get the if the manifold is the uh, eta Einstein, then we get um, this. Why? Because I have to <laughs> get out the M bar. The M is the N dimensional Riemannian manifold. Unit tangent bundle is eight times time. We do standard contact metric structure. Then if and only if first G or X E I U Y E I F minus when plus A G U G Y U and secondly, the rich tensor has the quadratification You see, U dot bar is the base, base element. The base curvature tensor of the base, curvature tensor of uh, rich tensor of the base manifold. And to compute the uh, exactly uh, what's the alpha and beta. Actually, this alpha and beta is the constant does not depend on the radius, the point. So uh, from the, the if the uh, unit tangent bundle is the eta Einstein, if and only if we have the three. Three. So if you, uh, and also, if the uh, unit tangent bundle is the um, constant scalar curvature, hmm. it's a constant scalar curvature, then we have uh, this. Alum square over n. Is using the this. If you look at the this, if you look at the this, if you put uh, x x equal y and e j x y equal e j, see and take some take some x and y the e j e j. The third takes some EJ, EJ. It's the left hand side over the one and three are the same. Then we have the two things. Then use the this is the becomes n over RM square over n. 
the this room scale <coughs> over n from the this this and third you can get a, the what is the alpha and beta alpha and beta the from this and this is the same the left hand side is same then you can have the alpha and beta so now <coughs> and then secondary from the this from the this um, we put the x and y, x and y, take u, and integrate over the fiber. The integrate over the five. Put integrate over the fiber. Then we have the another another equation. Then see the one equation and second equation. Then you can get out what the alpha and beta is. So you get the alpha and beta is this alpha so alum square n n minus zero plus four n minus two the beta cos tau minus So from the this, the integrate over the fiber, then we can, we get the, some results about exactly hmm, n plus two lithium scale, alum scale, two tau minus one over two alpha minus uh, one over two beta. See, you put the uh, this in this alpha and beta to here, to here. Then you got the some condition on the uh, unit tangent sphere bundle to be a times time. Okay, that is the uh, right. The result. One more result, I will use the another thing. If the unit tangent sphere bundle, the another result, if the unit tangent sphere bundle is a times time, then the Space, space, space is the Einstein. This, this is the uh, uh, joint work with Professor Sekigawa. So we use the two things. Then. If you put the, the alpha and beta, then you get this. You get that this. Now, unit tangent sphere bond E to Einstein, some m is the Einstein, then you know that the norm of the rich norm. You put the rich norm, then you get the this. You get the this. From the this, uh, we get the, the base manifold should be the space form. Okay? So how? How to get? From the this result, this the second second results, so we get uh, this. <coughs> mm. Here, you get this. Um, 
Okay, this. Put this one, then you got the um I press it to n and minus one how this is a cool carony uh, product cal num scale equal uh four n plus two n n plus one oh, minus from the this from the this the we can get this we can get this so from here this is the two times g x g g see oh this is non negative uh, this is this is non negative norm square minus non negative this should be the, the scalar curvature should be uh, squeezed n minus one and n minus one and minus two. So equality happens. Equality happens if the uh, tau is the tau is the n and minus one, then the this exactly the space form, the curvature tensor was one. It the uh, Tau is the n minus one, n minus two. Then, if the uh, scalar curvature of the tau is the n n minus one, n minus two, then space form of the, <coughs> the sectional curvature is n minus two. This the equality happens. M is the space form. So we want to get the uh, how to get uh, the this equality horse how to get the uh, so we proved uh, about that uh, we using the neonerability formula for the Einstein manifold then uh, at last you can get the this. Okay. So, using the Lehner-Witch formula for the Einstein manifold, the in our manifold, our the unit tangent sphere boundary is Einstein. This becomes zero because our long scale is constant. So this becomes zero. Then we compute this one. Then um, used. You compute this equation, you compute this equation, this left hand side will be zero, and what's going on the right hand side? Right is the wrong computation, then right hand side becomes becomes such a good pretty <laughs> equations. So see the unit tangent field bundle is the E Einstein, the scalar curvature squeeze. Squeeze is the this, this. So this should be non-negative, and this also be non-negative. Should be both terms are zero. So the Navrar equal zero, and also tau is the n times m minus one or tau is m m minus one or m minus two. So see so. Now we we get the this we get the this, which means base manifold should be space form the constant sectional curvature one or n minus two. How about the conversely? If the 
the main basement for this space from this course, this walls. So the, we got the proof. If the in tangent sphere boundary is the Einstein, should be the space form. The, this part is easy. This part is easy. Just check about the, the dissatisfied. This part is this part is the difficult, but we use the Lyapunov's the, the formula on Einstein manifold and scalar curvature. Norm of scalar curvature is constant. There is constant norm of the curvature tensor. Norm of the curvature tensor. It's a constant. To use that. So using that one, then it goes to very uh, pretty. It's the top. 